is our final session, three of three, of our first installment of Taboo Talks. Monday we had a tattoo artist come in. Uh, yesterday we had Professor Wayne Thompson from Sociology talking about tattoos and subcultures. And today we have a student panel talking about their tattoos, their meanings, the stories behind getting them, and if they think people should get tattoos, why? My name is Adam Selesinski. I am a junior psych history major, and I have seven tattoos. My first tattoo though, goes along with cancer. Uh, it's the breast cancer ribbon on the back of my calf for my mother. Uh, that one has a story. Uh, it was a week before my mom had died. She was dying of cancer. We all knew what was going on. And I decided out of nowhere to go get a tattoo for her. Uh, met the artist and everything. She was the artist we had on Monday. And I, and neither of us really thought she was a tattoo artist just from her appearance. We kind of thought she was the shop secretary. It was strange just because I, I still was in a weird point about talking about everything going on. So getting the tattoo, uh, she actually yelled at me halfway through because I was being too quiet and not talking to her. With part of me was just, I didn't really care to talk about the subject, but I also didn't know if she really wanted me talking to her and distracting her while she was working on it. Um, but luckily it came out better than I could have imagined. Um. I don't have as many tattoos or as many stories, and they're also not as deep and meaningful. The newest one I have is Hogwarts. And it's kind of a symbol of home. Because for the past three years, I've basically been living out of a suitcase, and it sucks. And I've been going like from place to place to place, and it's terrible. So it's just a reminder that home is somewhere. You find it eventually, just maybe not yet. So. The first one I did was in. September, which, okay, terrible idea. Don't get a tattoo the day before you're gonna go to like a three-day festival thing. It was, I wasn't thinking. And then the next day, I regretted everything because it was really painful. My tattoo's on my right foot, and it's a heart with the word always written through it, and it's my handwriting, and it's how I sign every single one of my letters, so that's kind of like where I got the idea of it, but the reason behind it is um, it's pretty personal. But when I was a senior in high school, my dad went to Afghanistan for a year and all this other stuff, like in the band basically. So I was, I got like really depressed and I called my best friend. And my best friend came over and um, he really sat down with me in my kitchen and seriously just sat there with me for like two hours, like just talking about everything. And I finally decided to get the tattoo. Um, once I broke up with my boyfriend after an abusive relationship, so it was more, it was like, it's empowering now to know that like I had the strength to survive and overcome everything, and it's like a reminder that there's always someone there that loves me and I should never give up hope. Both of mine are memorials for people I was close to. The first one that I got was the one that's got the horse on it. It was for my cousin Ryan, and the reason I did the horse was because Shortly after he died, I got his stuffed horse that he had had since he was a baby, and it looks exactly like that. So I thought it was a good way to remember him. And then the grandpa one I just got this year, because my grandpa died last year, and, and he was a fisherman. I used to go fishing with him, but I was never patient enough for it. When I got the first tattoo, I went with my old brother to get his first tattoo, and we had made the deal that if either of us cried, we would be paying for dinner. I didn't cry, but I didn't talk to the tattoo artist at all. I stared at the ceiling and I was like, I'm not saying words to you, it's not happening right now. And then the second one I got, me, my younger brother, and my mom all went together to get memorials for my grandpa. My younger brother, it was his first tattoo, and we made the same deal that if he cried, he had to pay for dinner. None of us cried. We're, we're apparently adults. <laughs> I'm Pat, um, and I got all my tattoos for one person, and uh, that's my big brother, uh, who took his life in 2008, and um, it was just a way of me kind of uh, being able to control the situation when everything else was kind of out of control. The first tattoo I got was the hawk. Um, 
I got it on my left arm because he was blind in his left eye. Um, it's pointing forward because that's the direction I want to keep going. Um, there's a mountain there. Um, he was going to school in Arizona and it was actually on this mountain. Um, and then the sun is there because we played Here Comes the Sun um, at his funeral. And the day that he died, I actually saw a hawk fly over a little hill into the mountain into the sun. So I figured, you know, that's the last straw I'm going to get. You know, I've gotten the lecture, like, you know, when you're older, like, how are those going to look? And I'm like, well, you know, I'm probably not going to look that great to begin with, so <laughs> I really don't care. I'm absolutely terrified of needles, and I have no idea how I got this one. Like, I timed it, it was 27 minutes and 33 seconds. <laughs> and that's 27 minutes and 33 seconds that I will not get back in my life. I had a guy lecture me outside the house of blues about how I'm a terrible person and I'm going to die with tattoos. He just kept saying, you're going to die with tattoos, um, which is weird. But you can kind of just ignore it, because it's, really, it's usually stupid. Like, their arguments are usually just not. Like, usually the central point is you're a bad person because you're a bad person. So, I don't like that person. So, basically, they don't have a giant raven on their leg. They're just jealous. Those kinds of things don't bother me unless they're from family. And I've had the situation with my first tattoo where she's not exactly family, but at this point she is because we've known her since I was like two. So she's family to me. And she saw the tattoo and immediately started yelling at me and asked me why I destroyed my body. And I walked out of the house and was like, I'm gonna let you calm yourself down and then turn around and we can talk about this like calm people. But then she learned that my mom had already had three tattoos. So she quickly got over it and was like, well, they're all covered in them. So <laughs> there's nothing I can do about it.